Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be looking at the film Unarmed Combat. Uh, dates back from the 1940s. It is a film by the British Foundation. I will leave a link in the description below for you to check it out. It's 25 minutes long and it has all sorts of information and it's very entertaining. I highly suggest you go down and watch it. Now, what truly uh, took my attention is just how much of various jujitsu techniques um, has been used in this footage not only the techniques that we use in sparring but also the techniques used for arrest and subduing someone and it's very interesting to me that how much grappling uh, and folk style wrestling there are around the world uh, only the judo slash jujitsu are used to really uh, arrest someone and incarcerate them so first here, this one is as someone is charging at you or trying to grab you, you strike the groin and then a palm strike upward to the chin to put them down. This is what is known as Shomen Ate in Aikido. Here you see Christian Tissier, my teacher and the person who gave me my Aikido black belt. This and, and intercepts the strike and then uh, palm strike to the face, showman ate, in order to get that momentary freeze, and from there he gets his technique. Now here, this one is to get your arm free when it is grabbed by both hands. You grab your fist and then you pull it towards you. This is by the film The Weaker Sex. I actually did this when I was training and sparring against uh, Rokas. He grabbed both my uh, with both hands in my hand and then I just uh, popped it out using this one and it it surprisingly worked um, this was about a year and a half ago now um, here is a, an elbow lock done when someone is have their hand at your belt level and from there you can get them to the ground using the stiff arm or the locked elbow uh, as a lever so um, this is very reminiscent of the kendo kata um, where you actually block the sword and then you keep a downward pressure as you lock the elbow and you get full control now this wrist lock here you see as the movie says it's used to not only arrest someone but also use them as human shield in order to protect yourself as you are retreating let's look at the god of judo uh, doing this wrist lock called kote kujiki and goes to the side locks it 100% the same. Now we know the Brits or the Englishmen uh, trained in Judo and Jiu Jitsu for the unarmed combat. Let's see it here in detail. So he grabs the thumb and he just puts it on the, he puts the tricep on his bicep to lock the elbow and the wrist and creates pressure. So now this is your classical rear naked choke you just rotate them and you have the arm already across the neck and from there you do whatever variation of rear naked choke now you have two you have this one which has the forearm on the trachea and this one where you actually block the blood flow to the head and it's a very effective strangle and choke you still see it up till this day now here is your shoulder hold or kata gatame you squeeze and then you can actually let go of the arm and throw using your hips um, i would argue it's a variation of koshi guruma but inverted in a sense now let's take a look at kata gatame but on the ground see he blocks the shoulder against the head hence the name shoulder hold and it's a great pin slash strangle or a position in general it's very efficacious you see it everywhere judo mma jiu-jitsu now koshi guruma uh, here this is the basic form but uh, the way he was doing it he was holding the neck because he had the back-to-back -back position but he used the hips he used the arm to wheel him to wheel him over so I would say it's a variation or an inverted variation of Koshi Guruma. Let's see it from another angle. It's very efficacious. You see it in Greco-Roman wrestling. You see it in freestyle wrestling. 
and many grappling styles around the world. So, next is gonna be against the bayonet. Now, I don't believe you should hold the blade, but if it's coming thrusting, you push it to the side and then you grab the arm and you lock the elbow. Again, this requires rigorous training. Here you see the same mechanism almost, but to the inside, applying this particular technique. Uh, the first technique you learn in Aikido and you're locking the elbow while grabbing the wrist. Now, the gun this arm is very interesting. It is the same as in Goshin Jutsu and we will see it in just a second. So what he does is push the gun away. This guy looks like those veterans who have tons of injuries and yet they go super hard on both young and old and they're very good at what they do. At what they do. It just reminds me of this particular type of grapplers. Now, this is Koshigamai in Goshin Jutsu. Pushes the gun away and then uh, using the barrel for leverage, he rotates the wrist to the outside in order to get to cause pain and causes them to let go of the gun. So here you see, pushes the barrel away and from there you use the barrel uh, for lever to disarm the gun from their hand, then strike them with it. It is very painful to strike someone with their gun. Let's see it here. Now this one is to the inside rather than the outside and you rotate the wrist towards them. A classical Kote Gaishi. Now here you can do a neck lock as you are arresting someone. It can be lethal obviously, but uh, what uh, really grabbed my attention was actually the, the arresting method, which is with the rope. Here you see you can tie up the entire body. Again, I've covered this in the past and uh, from the 1880s, there are books in Japan about how to tie someone up completely in the rope and arrest them and incapacitate them. Uh, I've covered this uh, in a older video. I will link it at the end. Here you can see the same way you can sit on them and apply uh, the rope and pressure on their neck. Here you see the thumb is on the cavity between the neck and the jawline. So uh, if you have anything else to add, please let me know down below. The full movie again will be in the description below and consider supporting me on Patreon or getting a copy of my novel, all of which will be linked in the description below. This was Shady, and as always, thank you for listening.